Good morning, Jonathan. Good morning. How you doing? Good morning. How you doing? Hey. We're doing all right. Doing so well. obviously you were quite fired up there after the game. Disappointed. You lose to the Giants. You're three and four. It's deja vu all over again. You said it's been seven years of this stuff. Um, did you have some time to like simmer down and cool down and like think <laughs> about it a little bit more? Or are you still pissed off as much as you were yesterday? No, I mean, I'm still pissed off as much as I am yesterday. Yeah. But at the end of the day, I mean, there's still a long season ahead of us and still a lot to play for. So, we, I mean, we got to turn around like right now. There's no more time to wait, no more time to mess around. We got to get this thing figured out moving forward. And, you know, I mean, my job is to go out there and help the team do that to the best of my abilities, and that's what I'm going to do. Do you believe in your head coach, in your defensive coordinator? I do. I truly wholeheartedly do. John, when you were saying you're effing tired of it, of this S, and all, what, what, were you talking about something in particular or just another bad start to a, another, you know, kind of average to below average season? I would say the inconsistency. I think the thing that's so frustrating about this team is one week we'll have a week where we look really good and the next week we just come out flat. And it's just the ups and downs. And good teams do not do that. You cannot win football games in this league by playing inconsistently. You know, some games offense shows up and defense does it. Other games defense shows up and offense does it. And we have the players do it. We have the coaching to do it, but we just have to go out there and put it all together. And that's the frustrating part. It would be different if we didn't have enough talent and we just weren't a good football team. That would be different. But we are, and we're just not executing. And that's what's frustrating. John, are you good at compartmentalizing that anger from the locker room? Like, when you get home, is, is your wife avoiding you at that point? Does she give you, like, give you, give you a little bit of extra space because she knows you're upset? Man, I love my wife. She's my ride or die. She'll be up there fired up, pissed off with me. So she, I get home and she gets me riled up and we, we get <laughs> – we go sit in the hot tub, and we're all pissed off together, and then the next day we wake up, we're like, all right, let's do it all over again. Ooh, so. give, me, give me the hot tub setup. Are you like, uh, mm. are you chopping on a cigar while you're in the hot tub? Like, what, what's the deal? You have a drink, hot tub side? I have one, I have one seltzer after every game. So after the, <laughs> after the game, me and the wife would get in the hot tub and have one seltzer, and I don't... that's when I vent. I tell her everything that's on my mind, and once we get out, Done. Man, done I, next week. I would not have had John Allen as a seltzer guy on my bingo card. That's yeah. keep it light. Like, that's a little popular. bit upset. But you know what? They're kind of tasty. What's your, I'm what's not going to lie. What's your seltzer of choice? I would definitely say Trulies. I love me a good, but really? not the regular Trulies. You got to get the black can Trulies. The what are they called? Black, black in the black can. Oh, okay. In the black can, I think it's like a little more bold. Why, are they a little stronger? Yeah, no, not that. They just they got the fruit punch. They got the pineapple <laughs> lemonade. Like my, tropical, flavors. like tropical flavors. I like it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. What um? Why? What is frustrating you? Like, let's just talk about the, the the D line. Why does it seem like we can't be more effective? I mean, like overall, their numbers weren't great. Uh, you running forced eight the punts. Yeah, you guys did, you, and you and you created a turnover when you needed to. So I mean, no one's gonna sit there and blame you guys. But why? Why does it seem like we struggle against the run, especially, like, early in games? Yeah, I mean, I, I don't know. I think I have to do a better job of making sure I'm ready to play earlier and do everything I can to help the guys be ready. But I, I think it takes us – I'll say this. For a defense, the most dangerous plays are always the first 15. Why? Those are the plays the offense has scripted, yeah. the plays they rehearse all week in practice, the plays that the offense that we're going against is usually going to run – the most clean. They know how we're probably going to line up in certain situations based on what we've been doing all year. And it's the first routine that's always hard for a defense. And this, I mean, that's where we struggle at. But it's okay. I mean, we definitely settled in and made the plays we need to to keep us in the game. But we, we got to be better because we can't put ourselves in these holes and expect to come back every game. John, I know, you know, you don't really pay attention to the offense because you're over there on the bench talking to your coaches and your guys and looking at stuff. But, I mean, you probably know this. The Giants coming into the game had five total sacks, and they had five in the first half. Um, you know, and look, just the offensive line wasn't good yesterday. And you go against them every day in practice. So I know you're not going to talk crap about them, but they just weren't good. Yeah, I mean, it definitely wasn't their best game. But the only way this season is going to work is if we circle the wagons. So it might not have been their best game, but we still had opportunities to win the game. So we got to take the good and the bad. We got to understand what we didn't do good and what we did do good and move forward. Um, obviously, I don't think anybody played as good as they wanted to. So, I mean, it, it, it's, it's just frustrating because I know we're better than that. I know I'm better than that. And I don't know.
Well, you guys you, proved it, like especially like a game like Philly. And I know no one wants to talk about moral victory. We were doing it kind of tongue in cheek, but I mean, you guys showed what you're capable of against one of the best teams in the league. And then you know, the, like the game against Chicago. And look, I think New York's better than their record. They had they lost to some good teams, but <sighs> that's what's so frustrating from a fan perspective. Is like you say, the inconsistency. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I agree. I. Trust me, I understand the frustration. I'm frustrated too, but you know that frustration you got to be used to in a positive way. And again, there's so much left for us to play for. So now's not the time to abandon ship and start turning on each other. We're gonna get this thing fixed. And uh, what can do you do differently? Games. What can you? Because Ron and his staff basically, you know, they've been here four years. You guys know the routine. What What can you change up? I'll speak for myself on this matter. Yeah. I just have to make sure I'm doing my job and doing it at a higher level. And each guy has to take a, I mean, a hard look at themselves. Um, you know, I, I don't, I don't really focus too much on what the DBs or what the linebackers and what the offense is doing because I only try to focus on the D line. So I know for us, each guy's going to take a look at himself. Where can we improve and where can we do to help the team get better? And that's well, what, that's what I'm going to do moving forward. Right. How stunned are you though? These are the statistics right now, and you probably don't want to hear it, but. You guys are giving up 374 yards per game as a defense. That's 29th in the NFL. 27.1 points per game. That's 29th in the NFL. How stunned are you that that's where your unit is? I mean, that's where we're at right now. I mean, we could be stunned, shocked, and surprised. But, I mean, when you look at the games, we have not been playing good football as a whole this entire year. And, we, I mean, that's contributing to a lot of the things. All right. So as much as it will be easy to blame the offense for what they do, I don't think that we've played and hold a bar in the bargain. So we got to be better, and that starts with me. All right, so you said that you got a prep for F in Philadelphia. So you played them just a few weeks ago. What challenges do you face as a defensive line when you face that Eagles team? I know last week you talked about the mountain of a man that's like 6'8", 360. Yeah, well, I mean, one thing you know, you got to keep them out of third and ones. Got to keep them out of third and fourth and ones. That's what you have to do against Philadelphia because they're very effective at converting those. You got to get pressure on Jalen Hurst and make him feel uncomfortable in the pocket, and you can't let AJ Brown or Devontae Smith beat you. AJ uh, Brown's been on a roll, by the way. Brown's been killing. Hey, drugs. Valdez has um, a possible solution <laughs> yeah, to the tush producer. push. Yeah. Valdez, I'll let you speak on this, but yeah. Jonathan, you know that um, men can leg press a ton of weight, right? I don't know how much you can yep. leg press, probably close to a thousand pounds. Um, Valdez, I'll let you. Uh, John, t- explain. John, I-, I was watching the Eagles game last night, and I was seeing the tush push, and I had a come to Jesus moment mm-hmm. that that this play is all about leverage. And what I need you to do is that when it's fourth and one, or they're on the Third goal line, short, whatever, yeah. yeah, they're on the goal goal line, and you know it's coming. Is you need to lay down on your back in a jujitsu <laughs> in a jujitsu pose, a leg press pose, and have your feet hit Jason Kelsey in the pads. And then push forward and let the cavalry come. Let let Jamin Davis like leg come. Press him and 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 finish everything off. What do you I, will, I I can send. No, I'm de- I'm serious. He's being serious. I can He's send you. Serious. We're gonna do a demonstration video and, and I'll text it to you. <laughs> but but this is exactly how you stop it. This is how you get the the leverage. This is how you, you reverse the role. Yeah, how, how would that work or not work? And John? You can forward the video to uh, Jack. Yeah yeah. You can show or Jack. Skinina, whatever his name yeah, is. Skinina, yeah. I'm be, I'm being dead serious about it. How much can you leg press, John? Probably like nine hundred pounds. No, I could probably do. I could probably do a thousand plus. I mean, I, once you once you've been in the league for a while, you don't max out as much. Right, right. The reward the reward for it isn't very high. But you know, I like to think I'm a strong guy in the lowers. So you know, I think I could get up there. <laughs> well, so, I was a, I was able to uh, to hold off three people with my legs very easily, and I can I can only imagine you doing more damage. Yeah, than he that. just does CrossFit. <laughs> So what do you think? Now, Cakes was playing would, Jason Kelsey. Yeah. Why, why would that not different. work? Why would that not work, John? Hmm. Okay, so I'm on my back and my feet are in there and I'm leg pressing. Like you're leg yeah, pressing. Yeah, yeah. Imagine, yeah. Almost like, almost like imagine, a baby. I just imagine Landon Dickerson, who's about 6'5", 345, coming down with a full head of steam right into my right knee, and that does not sound fun. <laughs> <laughs> that does not sound like a position I want to be in. But, I mean, look. Show me the demonstrations. You I, never know. Yeah, yeah. I'll text it to you and then uh, work it out with Jack at practice. <laughs> He's got an open mind about yeah. it. That's, right. that's hey, encouraging. You know what? You, I'm going to – when, when the, all, the, all the defensive line is on their back in front of the sled at practice this week, I'll know you showed it to Jack. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. All right, so you played them a couple weeks ago. We know they've got a really good offensive line. 
and Jalen Hurts, when you left that game, okay, it was a loss. Um, what did you think about that you could have done differently, the defensive line, the defense could have done differently? Because, look, Hurts did have a couple touchdown passes. They did run for 104 yards against you. They did put up 34 points. Yeah. No, I mean, when you look at that game, it's a tell of explosives. That big explosive they had before the half to cut it to a one-point game or a one-score game, the big explosive to Asia Brown in the second half, if we're able to eliminate those or at least cut them down, different ball game. So I know for us, I think we were effective in, in slowing down their run game. We actually stopped one of the tush pushes, so, you know, hats off to us for that. Hmm. Um, I think we just – I think the feeling was we let we let, we let them off the hook that game. We had them where we wanted to, and they made the plays at the end of the game to win, and we didn't. So, you know, moving forward this game, you've got to be able to stop the run. If you can't stop the run against Philadelphia, you can't beat them. Then you got to be able to stop A.J. Brown and Devontae Smith. You know Jalen Hurts, I mean, and credit to him, he's going to put the ball in the air, and he's going to give his players an opportunity to make a great play. And more times than not, they come down with it. So you got to be able to stop that, and you've got to convert. You can't have stupid penalties. You can't have stupid turnovers. you got to – fight for the field position battle, and you got to play good football through and through for 60 minutes, not for two quarters, not for three quarters, not for three and a half quarters. And I guess last week, last time we played, not even four quarters. So you just got to be ready to strain for 60 minutes and however long it takes, and you got to play smart football throughout the entirety of the game. And the team that blinks first and has the first mental lap, that's usually the team that's going to go home with the loss. I mean, I kind of know the answer, but what was the locker room like yesterday after the game? Very frustrated, very frustrated. And I, I don't like to speak for other guys, but, I mean, we're all frustrated because we know how good we can be, and that's what's frustrating. But, again, season's not done. We just have to circle the wagon, and we have to come back and regroup. And, you know, a win this week would be huge for us, and it could set, off, set us off on the right trajectory to where we want to go to by the end of the year. But we got to take it one game at a time. Hey, I'm curious. Uh, I don't know what the commander's blitz percentage is, and you'd say you got to focus on – defensive line and we've talked to you earlier this season you said we're four number one picks we got to get to the quarterback and look Montez has been getting to the quarterback Chase has been getting to the quarterback individually you have been but when you see a team come at you like the Giants did with Wink Martindale I believe they blitzed on 57 percent of the plays do you would you like to see your defense attack more like that um I don't know it's hard to say I Besides two drives, we play phenomenal football. So, I mean, I, I, I can't really say we lost because we didn't blitz more. I don't know, man. I, I try not to get into the weeds of that stuff because that's a that's a, that's a, a deep hole, a, a rabbit hole you can go down and you get, oh, we should be doing this, we should be doing that, instead of just focus on what we are doing and what I can do to help improve. So, I'll, I mean, I'll leave that, guys. I'll leave that logic and thinking for you guys. But as a player, it's really dangerous to start going down that rabbit hole of, oh, I think we should do this and do that. I'm going to trust Coach Del Rio. I'm going to trust Coach Rivera. I'm going to make sure I do my job to the best of my God-given ability. Hey, hey, John, I'm wondering, did you guys on the sideline have any sense at the end of the game there that if John catches out or you guys score, that that Ron would go for two? Or do you have any? Were you guys talking on the sideline, hey, we're going to go for two here if we score? No, I don't think – I don't – I wasn't thinking about it. The team wasn't thinking about it. But, I mean, again, my two cents, when the defense is playing as well as it is, I don't think you have to. Now, I actually agree with you. Yeah. yeah, like if your defense is struggling, then I say go for two all the time. But if your defense is playing well, which we were at that moment, I don't think you have to. Mm-hmm. But, again, I had no idea what we were going to do. Right, right. Fair enough. Hey, how was Duran's foot? He was reaching for his foot. Uh, I can't remember what play that was. Well, right at the end. At the very end, yeah. How, how was his foot after the game? I mean, I haven't talked to him yeah. today. I mean, he he looked fine getting on the plane yesterday. One thing I know about Big Payne, he's a soldier. I don't worry about him at all. I've seen him get hurt, get up the next two plays and be bad like nothing happened. So was that gamesmanship fine. by him where he was hoping he could maybe buy you guys a little time? I don't know. I don't know. I wasn't out there. So right. I'm, I'm, really hoping, I'm really hoping it wasn't something they were trying to do dirty, but I don't know. I wasn't out there. Uh-huh. Right, right, right. All right. Well, listen, John, appreciate it, pal. I know you guys are frustrated. Um, you're right. There are 10 weeks left. You guys can, you know, change this around. But, it's, man, it's going to be a mountain to climb. But, yeah. you know, we'll see what happens. Uh, you know we don't like to make things easy on ourselves. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. We're kind of used to it around here. All right. Thank you, man. See you, buddy. I right, appreciate it, guys. All text right, you buddy. later. <laughs> yeah, yeah, text <laughs> 
Hey, you're in a better mood. You don't recognize. Yeah, every, it's coming in. You're always in a better mood when you sleep on it. You wake up a little bit better, and then you just go from there. Mm-hmm. But the guy won so many games at Alabama. It's just frustrating that he's he's joined a loser. That has That's to feel what, like a lifetime. Yeah, ago. he's used to high school state championships, right. You know, national championships at Bama. Most guys are probably. And like then, loser. when was the last winning season? I don't. Has Jonathan Allen seen a winning season in Washington? Well, we went eight seven so. and one. Eight eight and one. Eight eight and one. Uh, it's five hundred. Are you sure no, no. we didn't go eight seven and eight, one? Seven, with Jay? I know, but I don't with remember. If, yeah, with Jay, remember he they, was here. their he tie was, here. was the, okay, so the seven game in years London. Had, this is year four. Okay, so he, he has seen here. a winning season. At least barely, one. Yeah. barely a winning. Season. Yes, barely <laughs> a winning season. <laughs> well, no, because they had a winning. What did they do? Okay, they were they nine and seven. seven and one, then nine they and seven and eight seven and one. Yeah, whatever the hell. Yeah, but for most part, he's seen a lot of mediocrity. Yeah, that's what it's been under Ron Rivera.